Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will talk and make a practical demonstration about the Lorentz force. The Lorentz force results from the interaction of magnetic fields and electric currents. Here I have a couple of magnets and if I put them in this way, we will have a magnetic field in the region between the magnets. The magnetic field goes from north to south and if in this field region we have a conductor that carries an electric current then a force will be developed on the conductor that pushes the conductor up or down depending on the direction of the electric current and the direction of the field. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. If the field and the current have the direction shown, then the force points upwards. If we change the direction of the field or the direction of the current, then the force also changes direction. This is the mathematical expression for the Lorentz force. It's equal to the charge times the electric field plus the length of the wire and the current times the magnetic field. In this case, we are not dealing with electric fields, so this part is the one that matters for our purpose. Remember, these are vector quantities, so this is a cross product. Therefore, the direction of the force is perpendicular to both the direction of the current and the direction of the magnetic field. We can find the direction of the force using the left hand rule with the middle finger pointing in the direction of the current and the index finger pointing in the direction of the magnetic field. Then the thumb will indicate the direction of the force. So in order to demonstrate the Lorentz force, I made this contraption. As you can see, I have two magnets here. These are very powerful magnets, neodymium magnets from hard drives, and they can oscillate about this axis. Here I have another two magnets used as a counterweight, but we are interested in the very strong magnetic field between the two magnets. So when we place a conductor in this region, it will feel a force, which is the Lorentz force. And remember, uh, Newton's third law uh, to every action corresponds a reaction. And as the conductor feels a force, also a force will be the reaction that will move uh, this, uh, will oscillate up or down depending on the direction of the force, the Lorentz force. So let's, let's see how it works. Okay, I now have my conductor and a current will circulate through the conductor when I turn on the power supply. Let me do it and then put it in the space between the magnets. So you can see how the force move move everything up and if I reverse the direction of the current I will turn it around 180 degrees then the force changes direction now it moves in the other direction
So, the Lorentz force is a very important concept because all electric motors, no matter if they are AC or DC and any type of electric model, all of them work using the Lorentz force. So, I hope you liked this video. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.